Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in uh, to My Renewable Life. My name's Colin. Um, today we're going to be taking you through my DIY um, yeah, concrete slab from my rain tank I put in. So this footage was basically filmed um, end of December when I put the tank in. I just want to show you how I framed it up. Um, obviously poured everything in, skimmed it a little bit. Um, but yeah, really, really easy. Um, just with a bit of manpower, I had my gardener helping. Um, but yeah, then it's basically the length of it is two meters in length, 1.6 width. Just was a, the, the kind of correct size for my 5,000, for 2,700 liter tank we put in. But yeah, we're going to take you through it. It cost about 1,700, 1,800 bucks, so not too bad, part of the whole setup. But yeah, let's get into it. So this is where we'll be putting the Jojo tank. I've just made a basic marking, well, used to be, um, of where the concrete slab's gonna be. And we're gonna show you, yeah, obviously how I'm gonna do the slab today. So we've got the frame laid out. I think that's a 1.63, 1.63. And then obviously the long side that's gonna come away from the wall and the wall's gonna be over there. And then we're just gonna put some screws in to tie the sides, just do a pilot hole, and then we can screw it in. So now we've got the, the frame down. We're just gonna spray paint around a bit so we can see where um, we're gonna dig. Ciao. Okay, so we've got the frame in, we've leveled it with the leveler, and then we've just put some stakes in to, to hold it. It is deeper than it thought, so it might be harder to get out, but at least it's framed and secure. And then we put another, let's put it there. The knob is just filling up, because it was some areas just below there. Really enjoying the sandpit. Look out, out, Piggy, out, come, out. Okay, so we basically got it full. It took us much no more bags than we thought. And I bought about 20, 20, I mean, yeah, about 23 bags of premix cement in total. I initially had 16, but always more than you think. So we're starting to skim off, filling up the last bit, and then we'll skim it all the way through, nearly there.
Okay, so the cement has dried for three days. I think you can definitely do two, two days from what I've seen online, but just wanted to make sure. So now I'm gonna just moving the, the framing. As I said, I think I said previously, we dug it a bit too deep, so we have to dig out quite a bit, but once it's done, it should be pretty secure. Once we removed all the framing, it looked quite clean and then we filled back all the sand. It came out really well and I was really happy with how it came out. And this is, yeah, a couple months later after installing the grain harvesting system. Perfect sizing for the tank that I put in. But thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and yeah, follow us for more. Until next time, bye.